Hi, Jen and Casey here, and today we're looking at body braille and sideline footwork. So we already have Casey set up in sideline, and notice how we have the smart spine pillow. This is a great way to um, support the head and the neck in sideline. Casey, can we show them how we have that? So we have it sideways like this in between the shoulder block and the silver poles. It's really a comfy setup, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. Very supportive for the neck. And so she'll put her head down, and then she's going to cradle that front shoulder block, holding on to that front silver pole. So that will help her to connect and find her mid-back here on this bottom shoulder. Good. And then, just like our sideline in the mat, we want to look that the neck is on the spine, the shoulders and the hips are stacked. So she wants to imagine that she has like a little rice paper wall here on her back. Scoot your, can you scoot your shoulder back anymore? Just a little, okay, good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this top foot up onto the block. Good, and the toes can be hanging off just a bit. We just wanna make sure that the first ray and the heel stay down. And then we're looking that the ankle, knee, and the hip stay aligned. And this bottom leg can just rest onto the carriage and it's just carried along with the movement. So let's do a few. So she's gonna take a deep inhale and press out. And then on the exhale, slowly coming back in. Good, and we want to encourage her to try to lengthen through this top waist. Inhale, good, and keep lengthening even as she comes in. So what happens is that most of the time when people come in, they'll want to collapse into their bottom rib cage. So she's just thinking about um, lifting her bottom rib cage just a little bit up off the mat, and what that translates into is more length in this top waist. Good, doing a few more. So I want her to feel like she's opening this top rib cage, like a little bit of a fan, and then keeping that fan open as she comes in. Great. So from here, Casey did a wonderful job with that, but a lot of people, like the mat, will need a little bit of support under the waist. So I'm gonna have her lift up a bit, and we're gonna slip a little folded towel on her waist. And that's gonna remind her that she has to lift up and away from the carriage. Good, so she finds her foot position again, and taking a deep inhale, and pressing out. And exhale and coming back in. Good, making sure that the sitting bones are widening as she comes back in. Make sure that she doesn't initiate the movement as she goes out through a squeeze of the behind. We wanna keep the glutes as soft as possible, just gliding through the bones. Good, and last one, keep fanning this top rib cage. And on the exhale, feel the counter pressure of the bar into the foot, foot into the bar as she comes in. And then gently rest. Good. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.